when I bow into the octagon, that's when you're trying to get into that kill mode. I've messed it up before, for sure. <laughs> it didn't switch on. I was walking in and I remember looking around, I was like, I wonder where my missus is sitting. I got bashed for that one. I had vertigo for two weeks after that, so that one took some uh, years off the life, for sure. <laughs> What's up, freshies? Welcome to my world. It's uh, been a cool experience because it really let me into their family, I think. I feel like uh, I'm there. I got to experience Christmas and New Year's over here and bring my family over and uh, just the camaraderie and uh, how they brought my family into it really made me enjoy this camp. These guys are the top 1% of the top 1%. There's champions, there's top ranked fighters. They all have been there, they've been doing this for years. It's good to be a small fish in a big pond. When I bow into the octagon, it makes you strive for more. And uh, that's been a really a cool process to be a part of. Bro, that, the one on the... Oh, it's, ah, it's not that's not... That's not enjoyable. They've got a sort of genius in the way that they think with fighting. It's, um, it's been a learning curve. Yeah, like I said, it was intimidating at first because you answer questions to the, that they're asking and it's just completely wrong. <laughs> like, no idea. It's like that kid in school that puts his hand up to answer the question and not even close to the answer. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. You had the record for the longest injury layoff in UFC history. Yeah. It's probably not one of the records I wanted to have. <laughs> There's a lot of other records out there that I'm about. I'll take it. So I don't know if they give me a Hall of Fame jacket or what, but longest layoff, sweet. Uh, it's, it was definitely hard, the um, pressure when I first came back. After four years off, you sort of don't know if you're going to be the same person when you come back in. Uh, um, but yeah, I got in there and proved that I was still supposed to be in there, and um, I was elated. Tyson Pedro is back in a big way. Straight after the fight, there was uh, too much to think about because I was thinking about that whole four years of the layoff and family, like, and just everything. And I was just like, it's too much. <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> oh, sorry, my Uber driver's here. <laughs> Uber. <laughs> <laughs> The people are gonna watch this and go, this is nasty guy. <laughs> I've never used a knife before. I've opened up a beverage company. Uh, we um, got to do, I got to be part of an Italian restaurant now in Penrith and uh, we did the chicken wings. Oh, ladies, boy. <laughs> Honestly, I try and get be, become a part of things that I like and just try not to pay other people for it. So I <laughs> just pay myself. <laughs> And it's not working out because we just eat and drink into the profits. <laughs> she completely changed me. I've been completely changed as a person, uh, for sure. Um, I wasn't expecting it. This little girl has re-taught me how to love. Um, I just, she has got me wrapped around her finger. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm worried about when she gets older because I don't know what, I'm not going to be able to handle it, but. What's your favorite thing to do with it? Oh man, um, we both love eating. So I, I've got to keep fighting because it turns out she loves A5 Wagyu steak. <laughs> so I've got to go make money because it's a normal steak. She's like, oh, so we've got to try and make some more money. <laughs> this is probably an exclusive. You can hear it here first, but CKB is the final chapter of my fighting career and I can feel that. I'm not saying I'm retiring like soon, but I just know this will be the final place where I fight competitively. Martial arts will always be a part of my life, but, and in saying that, uh, I just, I'm not ready to look past fighting because I have big goals uh, uh, to do in the next couple of years with fighting, but um, it's allowed me to do other things and hopefully they'll be set up for, for me afterwards. Mm -hmm.